Today we catch up with the multi-talented actress, singer and presenter Denise Zumba. We find out how motherhood has been treating her as well as some exciting new music she's got planned for her fans. But first, let's take a listen to her talented singing. Denise, girl, welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me. Hi. Girl, it's been so long. I mean, the last time we saw you here on Afternoon Express, you were showing us your cooking skills, how to twerk. Yeah. But now you have come out with so much more beauty from within you. Okay, so let's detail what you've been up to in the past year. We are more excited than ever to announce that you've got new music coming up, but you've yeah. also been doing a lot during lockdown. So how has yeah. life transformed for you and changed during lockdown? Well, first and foremost, I was actually supposed to get married um, in the month of April. So lockdown happened about three to four weeks just before we were like finishing off with, you know, plans. And, you know, my husband is from Germany, so he had half of his family coming down. I had friends from the US, friends from the UK coming down. And so it was just like chaos. I mean, it still is because we still kind of like don't know where we are with it. And mm. if we're going to still going to have a wedding, but that's like one of the big, big um, downfalls of lockdown and the experience we've had with that. And as well, I have 11 month old daughter now who's going to be turning one on the 1st of July. And it looks like we're just going to have a cupcake and a candle and mom and dad because, oh. of course, lockdown doesn't allow us to travel or to have family around. I live in Cape Town. Everybody else is in either overseas or in Joburg. So speaking about your wedding, will it yeah. still continue? I mean, how are you going to move forward? And we also need to remember that this is coming from a person who worked as a judge on a very popular wedding show. So I want to find out from you, Denise. That. <laughs> I will gosh, yeah. Okay, well, one thing that I can mention or want to mention is I'm sure you took quite a lot away from the show. So I want to find out from you one thing that you definitely 100% want at your wedding and one thing that is a big no-no. Okay, a big no-no at my wedding are any of my guests that are ready to leave sooner than the start. Like, you can't leave till the very end. Amen. Till the very end. Like, we need to be toasted drunk and have a, a little snack afterwards, like, <laughs> at 5 in the morning, if it's possible. But um, definitely a whole lot of alcohol, a whole lot of food, a whole lot of good music. I've got some very great DJ friends that are going to be there attending the wedding as well. Uh -huh. But that's if, you know, we are allowed to have a wedding if we postpone and get a new date and things like that. So we'll see. We'll see. It must feel like you must feel like pulling off that wig and throwing it in the air because of the I, frustration. I pulled it off many times. <laughs> Girl, I'm right there with you, honey, because I would be in tears. <laughs> but you know what? This could not have happened to someone who is just a ray of sunshine. I don't Thank think you. anything can get you down. Whenever we see you, you're always smiling, always having a Thank good you. time and spreading that love. Um, and speaking about the love that you've created, congratulations on your soon-to-be one-year-old baby girl, or little Thank Nia. Thank you, <laughs> Leah. Wow, uh, I can't believe it. I've done it. Like, one year, it's about three weeks away. <laughs> that's crazy. So, you know, Denise, please tell us everything about what motherhood has been like so far. It's been up and down experience but one to be very grateful for because it's such a learning experience it's very hard work and like solid commitment that you need to to abide by but the rewards i cannot explain and i'm sure a lot of mothers always say this that the rewards are just you, you can't even put them into words she is like changed my life drastically yeah a lot of lessons in being a mother, patience, um, gratitude, um, uh, realizing that you have so much stamina and so much power as a human being to go through such a huge transition that your body goes through mentally, physically, emotionally, and to come out on the other side with an entire human being. I mean, that's just like 
incredible. You can't fathom it. Yeah, honey. Can I tell you, she's going to be like, <laughs> mommy, she's an actress already. She knows exactly yeah. when the TV is on and she knows exactly. when, her, when she's being spoken about and she shows up right on cue. And speaking, on about, cue. speaking about showing up on cue and knowing her three, two, one and action, does she mind making her TV debut on Afternoon Express? Pretty please. Can we meet oh, her? Oh, we didn't like plan a little moment. Leia? Oh, I love hi. that you're bringing her to us. I know that she just woke up after a nap, so she's probably feeling a little you groggy. Want a quick, but let's, we have let's see. To... Hopefully, she won't like throw a tantrum. <laughs> hi! She's already coming and smiling. We didn't dress up for the pod, Duki. Oh. She's still got some milky. Oh, Papa just mom, some milky. baby. <laughs> Say hi. Say hello to Auntie <laughs> Bali. Hi, Say Mama. Hi. I hear that you are the happiest, most beautiful little girl that's turning one years old in three weeks. Yeah, she is one year soon, Duki. Yay! What is your favorite thing about motherhood? Um, the joys. When you hear your baby laugh the way that she does, it's just like, there's nothing like it. Like when she is the happiest, the healthiest. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shame. And I can see that you have this beautiful synergy working side by side with hubby. That partnership is definitely iconic. When you're yeah. working, hubby takes over and vice versa. Welcome to motherhood, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Say bye. Come, go to papa. Go to this papa. is brilliant. Oh, okay. no. This is magical TV moments right here. You couldn't have Sorry, scripted that's, this. That's what, that's what happens. And, and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> the joys, the joys. The joys, the ups, the downs, the roller coaster rides of it all, honey. <laughs> she was just like, Mommy, what's an interview? What's a camera? I got your she camera like, right oh, here, girl. Who's this pretty lady. What's going on here? What's all these wires? Life yeah. is good. <laughs> oh, Denise, I want to touch on your career, though. I mean, your TV career yes. has grown in leaps and bounds since you joined the entertainment industry. So please continue this journey with us. I did. I mean, when I finished studying musical theater, I just knew that I like I needed to be on stage. So um, just the build up of it was very, very like tedious. It was a lot of work. It was a lot of sacrifice. I mean, my parents couldn't understand it. I'm like last born of four kids. I'm a girl. At the time I was living in Centurion, but all my work was in Johannesburg. I drove a little small black gold mm. and as you know, the out entertainment industry is alive in the nighttime. And my parents couldn't fathom the hustle of nightlife. And I remember it caused so much conflict at home that at some point I was just like, if you're not going to let me do this, I'm just going to like do it on my own, which I did. But the grace of God, they came around. And uh, yeah, Fly Chicks came. Then the opportunity to do a reality show with Fly Chicks came. Then presenting, then generations acting. It was just from then on. It was just like go, 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 go. I mean, there was a lot of sacrifices. It was tough, but but we managed. Now I'm here, and I'm a mom. Wow. <laughs> A lot of South Africans find themselves in that position right now with COVID-19 wreaking havoc on Oof, our finances, yeah. our economy and our health, you know, the paranoia and our mm. psychology. So a lot of people find themselves with no support, no help, just like you did yeah. back then. What do you have to say to them in terms of words of encouragement, love, support, advice even to help them see another day? Well, when I can vouch and just say we need to you know put our faith and trust in government and um trust that they will implement whatever needs to be implemented to kind of hold our economy and structure together i know a lot of households have have now or are now sitting with unemployment i mean the best we can do is you know help where we can also as individuals and yeah. support family and friends and like i said trust in the government in the process and understand that everything happens for a reason and it's easier said than done because the unfortunate thing is that a lot of people are losing their lives as well um so there's huge adjustments that are happening but prayer is everything mm -hmm. um keeping your faith and spiritual um you know beliefs intact support system mm. and supporting each other that's kind of the best yeah. This is the best advice I can give. I mean, I, I'm going through it myself. I've just been blessed 
again, to have a good support system, but it's not easy for anybody. Let's get back to your Absolutely. very first thing that you fell in love with in the entertainment industry, which is music. So what can, yes. expand, uh, what can your fa fans expect from you moving forward in terms of your new music? Um, so I've been meaning to drop my album for the longest time. My first introduction to the industry was music, but then it fell into dance and acting and presenting. And, and now I just feel like I need to go back to what I really, really, really was striving to be a part of, and that's the music industry. So album will be coming hopefully soon this year. Just depends on where we are with lockdown. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can expect a lot from our music, a lot of truth a lot of experience i'm very much a storyteller in my music so but it's all fun and playful and um yeah i'm just very excited like a lot of my truth and my feelings are gonna be like splashed all over the album yeah so for now we've got one single that's gonna be coming out i just released uh um a little video from a soft tv and that was from my EP. It was the, the song title was called Be Myself. Mm. But uh, we're working on a single right now that we might release sooner than later. But we kind of have to work it day by day. Yes, hour by hour. As you know, <laughs> the pandemic has kind of got us all tied up. So, yeah. yeah. Ah, indeed, Denise. The pandemic's got us locked up. They won't let us out. Uh, but it's, uh, all for our, it's all for our good. It's all for our benefits. Thank you so Absolutely. much, Denise, for sharing your home with us. Thank you for sharing your family with us. South Africa, that is oh. Denise Zimba. She's traveled the world, been through hell and back, but she is proof that, of course, it's not about the destination, but it's what you achieve through the journey. Thank you, Siswan. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Good Bye. luck with everything. See you guys soon. See you soon, my love. Bye. Mwah. Ciao. Connect with us on social media if you find light at the end of the tunnel, just like Denise did.